The Malaysian government deployed three aircraft to assist Indonesia in fighting forest fires on Friday. The Malaysia Maritime Agency sent an amphibious Bombardier CL-415 water bombing airplane along with an AS-365 N3 Dolphin helicopter. The Royal Malaysian Air Force sent a C-130 cargo plane to Sumatra. Okay, the deployment will start today. The aircraft will be leaving in a short while. And uh, they will be there, the plan, for five days. Uh, the rate of operation is about seven <coughs> hours per day. Eh? Seven hours per day. And uh, what goes after that depends on the situation. If things improve, then uh, we will stop the operation. If not, then it will be based on uh, the requirement. Demand. On Thursday, Indonesia sought help from four countries, including Malaysia, Singapore, Japan and Russia, to help fight forest burning. A request came from the uh, Indonesian government through minister, uh, through the, the defense uh, minister. And because the Indonesia knows that the, the capability that uh, we have, because in, in Asia, the only country who has the amphibious uh, aircraft which can scoop the water and can drop the water is uh, Malaysia. We, uh, Indonesia also use the helicopter, helicopter and also some other aircraft, but in the smaller, of course, smaller volume. So they, they need a bigger volume. So maybe we can flood the, the uh, area, then we can kill the, the, the fire. Yeah. The Bombardier aircraft can scoop over 6,000 litres of water in 12 seconds when flying at a speed of 130 kilometres per hour. The perennial haze situation has spread across the region, especially in Malaysia, Singapore and Thailand. In Thailand, flights were disrupted at the Samui International Airport due to poor visibility. According to the Thai Pollution Control Department, the Thursday air quality level in Phuket province hit 201 micrograms per cubic metre, which exceeded the standard level of 120 micrograms per cubic metre. However, the reading slightly improved on Friday.